This fiber laser is by far the coolest tool in my shop, and even though they are remarkably expensive, it's something that I think a lot of people should at least take a look at, because when you have a tool like this, it sets you aside from the competition in a major way, because you're able to make very niche products that other people just can't touch with the tooling that they have. So I really wanna go into eight specific projects that I've been able to create with mine, and at the very end, we'll talk about who I specifically think should be buying this tool. And if you're interested a whole lot more in my thoughts on this specific machine, I will have a review that will be linked down below that you can check out on my second channel, which I'll just be casually sitting here talking about my thoughts on the machine. But today we're specifically talking about projects because this is a Make Timber video. Thunder Laser sent this out to me completely just so I can integrate it into my videos and talk about the different projects that I make. And I asked them if they would give away a laser on my channel for Make Timber. So in just a week or two, they're gonna be giving away their brand new Bolt, which is a desktop CO2 laser. If you'd like to know more details about that giveaway specifically, you can check out the video down in the description talking about what is Make Timber, and that'll give you a whole lot more details about what's happening. This right here is an Altoids tin or a mint tin and you can buy them completely empty on Amazon for super cheap in bulk. I get asked a good amount by photographers about creating small things specifically that will hold USBs. Uh, just as a side note, if somebody out there is looking for what they should make and put on Etsy, uh, find like five different things of ways that you can hold a USB and customize that USB and specifically market it towards photographers that are looking to create something a little bit special for their clients. Um, I think you'll do pretty well. So when I was looking at this project specifically, I was thinking, okay, well, how do we integrate wood into this? And I've got a free CNC file for that if you're looking to create something specific for this. The USB and everything that I'm gonna be showing off in this video, I'll have linked down in the description. So you've got your USB, which I have customized right here. You can see it says the Dildex. 4-4-2020, that is when me and my wife got married, and I've got a little COVID mask next to it because uh, that was like right when COVID hit. All right, next up is a scraper. Now with a fiber laser specifically, you're talking about highly customized metal objects, and this is something that I talked about in my video, Nine Ways to Upsell Your Cutting Boards, and that is integrating a scraper into your design or just adding it along with it. If you've got a fiber laser, you can easily crank out a ton of these in an afternoon, and you can sell them to makers, or you can include them with your own cutting boards. Number three, this is the probe that I got for my at Onefinity CNC machine and right here I just kind of like engraved my logo in where the bit actually sets. My buddy Ben Myers actually uses his fiber laser to custom engrave Z sliders for Onefinity CNC machines and he has a fair amount of people get in touch with him. Okay so next up is bits. Right here I have an older downtown Ginny bit and I wanted to see how marking on carbide would be. It was extremely easy and very quick. So no I don't think that you should buy like generic bits and then just rebrand them and repack and sell them but you can see that it has the capability to easily and quickly mark something extremely small like that. I hope it's starting to set in that the capabilities of this machine can drastically improve the product that you're selling. All right, so next up is keys. And this is something that I am pretty darn happy with because if you go into a lot of these boutique stores, um, having keys and personalized keys is nothing new. Uh, there was a huge wave of people that were just stamping keys with people's initials So like a boyfriend would give it to a girlfriend or a promise key or anything like that This is an easy way that you could upsell something by including some type of a quote or people's initials And you could easily have an entire display in a store that takes up less than one square foot of retail space And have you know 60 of these individual keys with a bunch of different song quotes and different things on them I know for a fact that given the right type of engraving in the right area somebody could buy this machine and have it paid off within just a few months and have a business running where you're just selling keys. It's little stuff like this where when you niche down and you understand exactly what you offer and you don't offer anything else is where you can really make a very good living. This is one that I'm really excited about and this is bottle opener inserts. This is something that is super simple to engrave. It takes zero time at all but it makes your product look so much better. This is also another thing that I think that you could easily offer to other makers. It makes your product look so premium at the end of the day. Okay, the next project up is something that I had just so much fun doing. Um, I used my fiber laser to engrave this jewelry roller and I turned it into a penny smasher. That was one of my dream projects that I recently like knocked off the old bucket list and it was so much fun. It turned out really great. I have all these little smashed pennies and these smashed pennies are gonna be sent to my Patreons along with the next project up. The next project is Orna Blanks and these things are incredible. They're powder coated aluminum discs that you can easily engrave with fiber, CO2 or diode lasers and create some 
really awesome, unique results. As you can see right here, I am engraving all of these and I'm not only gonna be sending a penny, but also a Christmas ornament to every single one of my Patreon members. So if you join my Patreon during the month of September, you will also be receiving one of these. I'll be shipping these out early in November. Earlier, I was just gonna be shipping out pennies to everybody and then I had this idea to also include an ornament. So yeah, the fiber laser makes such quick work out of it where you can create a ton of these ornaments. And as you can see, just like a lot of these other projects, you're not really generating any waste. You're taking a product and you're customizing it and you're sending it out, which I think is the main strength of a fiber laser and the type of person that uses it. For me personally, when I look at my CNC machine, I don't like taking the time to make individual files. Um, that's not like a joy of mine. I've got friends that can just do that in two seconds and that's just like a part of their workflow. I specifically don't like that. So when I look at a fiber laser and I look at the amount of customization involved, if you've got a few different designs of things that you make that are like very niche and specific, for instance, if you have these ornament blanks and you're just making like college football ornaments, it's a no brainer to have a machine like this. But for me, if I had an Etsy listing and I was doing like one off individual ornaments for people that I was individually shipping, for me, that's something that doesn't really match up with the type of business that I'm running. Obviously, there's so much more to get into because with this fiber laser, I can engrave metal. But also, if you get a UV fiber laser, you can easily engrave plastics. If you're looking to invest in yourself and sell the things that you make, it's going to cost money. And it's just one of those tools that the more niche you get, the more unique of an item that you're able to offer and the less people that are actually gonna be in competition with you. This isn't me like trying to get anybody to buy anything. I don't make any money if you buy one of these fiber lasers. But since it is make timber, I really wanted to show off being able to use tools to be able to create income for yourself. So let me know down in the comments if you had a fiber laser, what specifically you'll be using it for because I wanna create some really cool projects with this. And this is just kind of like scratching the surface of its capabilities. I'm still learning a ton about it and I certainly do not know everything when it comes to the settings which is why I haven't really touched on the settings in this video at all because I don't want to give anybody some type of a false hope of what getting one of these looks like. If you are getting a fiber laser, word to the wise, which I'll touch much more in my actual like very chill review video that I'm gonna be doing about this, but make sure that it's light burn compatible. That will save you an absolute ton of time. Thank you so much to my Patreon members. I really do appreciate y'all support and I hope that y'all enjoy these little ornaments that I'm sending out as well as these pennies that I have smashed. Uh, I'm really proud of the pennies. I know that's something silly, but I wanted to add a little bit extra in there. So maybe you can hang that on the tree during the holidays. Uh, some of them specifically, uh, I had to laser twice. So there's a bad side and a good side. And I was just gonna throw them out. But the truth is I'm a big believer in showing off your mistakes. So a few of y'all, just a small handful, will be getting a, um, a super <laughs> limited edition that's uh, kind of a mistake, but one side's really, really good. <laughs> now, if you're brand new to the channel and you're seeing all these numbers up on the screen, what this is is how long it took me to film and edit this video in specific, because at the very end of the year, I'm gonna be adding up all of my videos through 2023 and put that against the Google Ads since this channel has earned so I can find out my hourly rate when it concerns the YouTube channel. That video will be coming out early January, 2024. That is a very cool tool. If you're interested in one yourself, go ahead and check out thunderlaserusa.com. They will be linked down below. And once again, they're participating in the giveaway where they're giving away their brand new Bolt, which is a desktop CO2 laser. And we're gonna be doing that giveaway on October 1st, live here on this channel, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But until then, I'll see you and see you later. Bye.